don't know. I don't know who this for. But if you don't have enough power not to answer the phone, get your number changed until you do. It, it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing like somebody knocking at your door and, and you sitting, move that, and you sitting in a chair or laying in your bed and you know who it is and you keep on sitting or keep laying and you say to yourself, I hear you knocking but you can't come in. There's no sweeter victory, no sweeter victory than when you hear them pulling off and all of a sudden you think about the fact, you know what, I just passed the test. I, I want to tell 45 folk that are praising now. Your next temptation test, you gonna pass. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. The Bible says that we serve a God that's touched with the feelings of our infirmities. In other words, he know what you're going to be faced with. He know what you're going through. He knew that young people would have a problem being kept. That's why in the scripture, he said, flee. Also, youthful lust. See, see, the flee is to move away from quickly. And the only way you can move away from some things quickly, you got to run. And I don't mean to bother you. I don't mean to tussle you tussle with you, but I need about 25 folk that know that the enemy is after you to get out of your seat and go to running. You ain't gonna get me. Ah! I know you want me, but I'm running. Hey, that's right, pray. I'm running for my life. If anybody asks you, What's the matter with me? Tell him I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, and fire baptized. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running for my life. Lord, 
Listen, some of you don't know it, but you had to run because you tired of your struggle being your struggle. Jesus. 